been there on this call before. You do have people like this a lot. That I don't know. What is good y'all, Toller here. Welcome to the episode of Cop Reacts and I'm super pumped about this episode. I was told that I need to react to some clips from this movie and it's supposed to be one of the most realistic movies on what it's like to actually be a cop so we'll take a look and find out. Today we're going to look at End of Watch. Y'all have no idea how pumped I am to be actually reacting to some of these so uh, let's get into it. Let's look at the first clip. Who's a cowboy? I oh, don't know. He's got money. Look at his truck. I want to run him. You want to jam this full? Yes, I do. Plate's clean. Shit. What's our PC, though? Oh, it's that stupid CD hanging from his rearview mirror, obstructing <laughs> his vision. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so first clip right here looks like they've been developing this case on this house and they've been watching this individual and now they're looking to um, get what they said. In the beginning of it was called PC. He said, what's our PC? Um, and that's just your probable cause for the stop. That's, that's, that's honestly all it is. So they're looking for PC and he talks about the whatever it was hanging from his mirror saying it's obstruction of view. <laughs> it's, it's silly, but... It does give him probable cause. So, so far, yeah, I can believe it. It's a pretty aggressive way to get out of the car, I'm not going to lie. I mean, coming out with your gun, you better have a pretty good reason to just about do a felony stop on this guy, but I don't really, you don't really have much of a reason. I'd be careful doing that. Oh, that's a good reason, though. Get the fuck out the car. Get the fuck out the car. Wait. That's, okay, the list. So that's pretty interesting of what just happened because they honestly didn't really have too much on this car except for the little obstruction of you stopping this vehicle. Would I have approached the car with my gun out set to my hip? Probably not. I mean, you got to have a pretty good reason to have your gun drawn. But with that being said, the moment that dude takes a shot, especially at your partner, he's bought and paid for I don't know why he didn't take the shot. Maybe he was uh, afraid of crossfire. I mean, because you do kind of have to worry about that because his partner was on the driver's side and his other partner was providing security on the passenger side, which he actually did a really good job. So if you notice when he actually went up to the car, he was actually giving um, pretty good security to his partner who was being the primary on the driver's side by coming up to... Um, that back window and having him actually roll the window down. It's a lot of, that's honestly a lot of things that I do whenever I come up to a passenger side approach and I can't see too well into the vehicle. I'll stop at that. Um, it'd be the C pillar and I would knock on the window and tell them to roll the window down. It's, you know, it, it's honestly, it's, they're pretty good. It's pretty believable. But honestly, if that dude's taking a shot like that, realistically, he's, he's, he's going to play the room temperature game pretty quick. Or at least, you know, we're going to stop that threat, you know. But he disarmed him, got him down. Um, partner didn't take a shot. Maybe he's worried about crossfire. Who knows? But, uh, I mean, other than that, I mean, so far, so good. Hey, this is a perfect time to tell you that if you have yet to subscribe to this channel, you need to. Yes, you need to. The little button's right down there. Just take a look at it. Click it. And then you'll subscribe to the channel. It's that easy. But if you want to see more content like this and you want to add to this series and you got a video that you want me to watch, put it down in the comment section. I'll read every single one of them to get some ideas on what videos I need to take a look at. And we'll keep this channel going and we'll keep this whole series going. So uh, let's get back to it. Hey, fuck you too. Shut get your fuck up. You me. touch me, I'll fucking shoot you. You stay where you are. I don't give a fuck about both of you motherfuckers. I'm ready to die today. Fuck y'all. Not too she sure if I'd say that to him right just now. because he it's touched all me. all about your attitude. Fuck you. I got my mail. I helped him. I helped him. Give me my mail. And I'm getting tired of shit. On right. Oh, I'm not my playing with gosh. You. Sir, if you've been drinking, you need to stay I've the fuck inside and not intimidate before. the mailman. That's it. Fuck you. You need to shut the fuck up. You do have people you like this a lot. Shit, yeah? You're less than motherfucking People get this nothing. irate with you a lot. Yeah. I will tell you one thing, though. The second that guy decides to lean over and put his hands on you, it's game on. He's going in cuffs. You do not put your hands on me. 
and know what no you do not do anything in an aggressive way you do not take an aggressive posture towards me it's just not going to happen at the very least you're getting detained i mean he's already detained because he's in a field interview with him right now but at the very least he's going in cuffs while he, i'm detaining him i mean it's that's just that's not going to happen um very surprised that he actually let it happen i mean so far this movie's pretty good as far as the realism of the clips but don't take that chance of letting someone take that inch and can you know completely getting into your personal space like that especially for from an officer safety standpoint you just don't let that happen but oh man i've been there i've been there this shit's crazy that i don't know <laughs> that that i don't know if it's going to happen that's uh that's stretching it a little bit you'd be very careful about doing anything like that that's uh that's the kind of stuff that gets you fired you you come in you do what you got to do um if it requires you to go hands-on then it requires you to go hands-on but you know you try the best that you can to mitigate that from happening but that <laughs> that probably isn't gonna happen oh my gosh okay I cannot imagine taking my badge off and just squaring up with somebody and just saying, let's go. Those those days are long gone the, in the world of law enforcement and stuff. I mean, I've heard the stories from way back in the day, but those days are long gone. You don't, you, that's not something that you're going to see happen. I mean, and if it does, then it's, uh, good luck. Okay, so I mean, at least my boy won, but at the same time, that's uh, that's probably not gonna happen. That's that's really, really not gonna happen. I mean, he already earned his way into into fighting with you, anyways, when he first put his hands on you. But that's that's not gonna happen. I just don't I don't see that happening anywhere. And if it does happen nowadays, then it's it won't go unnoticed for very long <laughs> let's just put it that way all right so let's take a look at this last clip um this one's a little more serious so uh, definitely not something you want to run into but um it happens it happens so let's take a look at it Sir, can you... officer needs help. where Mid units down by x43 officer needs help 13 x43 what's your location i don't know what that's van house's car come on boot just book it south go 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 Find a street sign. Put it out. I don't see any. Oh, pendeja. Is there a number on a house? A building number? The house is 3177. Sir, back up. Hearing that come over the radio is definitely... It's, it's not even a sound you ever want to hear come over the radio. But an officer needs help. Just... Right there, right there. Oh, it's right definitely there. a scary okay. situation, there's, 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 but you see stuff like this that does happen. Sometimes you get into situations where especially for people that are really really new and you don't know where you're at you're not used to the street signs yet you're not used to the locations and i work in a county so there's a lot of places that i still have no clue if i were to have to call it out I have no clue where i'd be but that also comes with when you do get out on a stop or when you do when we say get out, that means when you call on the radio and basically say, I'm out on this, you know, you get called to a call and you tell the dispatch that, hey, you're basically telling them I'm there at this location right now. Um, and then they're supposed to routinely check on you um, while you're there at that location. If you change locations, you're supposed to let your dispatch know. So they should have had at least a general idea, which it looks like they did because he's telling them to just go ahead and book it south. I'm assuming he probably already has an idea on where um, her stop was or where she was out at. But definitely a scary situation to be in anyways. Um, but sometimes the heat of the moment hits like that. Tunnel vision sets in and you just panic and you have no clue where you're at and you're just trying to call it out and the only thing you can call out is that you need help. Um, thank goodness I've I've yet to be in any situation like that so far. In X-ray 13, send me an airship to set up a perimeter. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Do, uh, call for a rescue. Don't move. Do not move. 
What do you look like? Where do you go? Northbound through the houses. Ah, oh, that's... Hispanic male, blue. Ah, oh, that's nasty. Checker shirt. That dude's got a knife. Zero head, he's a pro, he's fucking huge. Thirteen. 13, suspect uh. northbound, heavy set male, Hispanic, shaved head, weapon used with a knife, KMA. That's crazy. Let's do this shit. Careful, man, on your left, he's fucking huge. It's clear over here. Crossing. Let's check their movements Windows. right here. I got left. I got right. Push, 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 That's push, push, really, push, really push, good push, communication push. they're doing. Push, push, push. You're on my elbow. Really good you communication. Call it out. You call it out if you see it. Dude, I see him. On the left. Good on the left. Call. Ready? Go. Go. Split. Good, good communication. You ready? Try to fuck with me. Fuck you. Get the fuck off her. I won't blow your fucking head off. I'm done. I ain't resisting. No. Don't fucking look at me. I ain't resisting, sir. Shut the fuck up. Get up. Put your hands over your head. Get probably up. could have justified that one. Put your hands over your head. You probably could have justified Back that one, but... Back up towards me until I tell you to stop. Move. Honestly, I Move. probably would have given him a chance Move. to. Move. Stop. Get on your fucking knees. And cross your goddamn feet together. You hear me? Cross your legs. It's good commands. Fuck. Something to note. Something to kind of note right there. You don't hear both of them calling out. That just creates confusion. You don't hear both of them giving commands saying, do this, do that. Let's say one person's telling you to put your hands behind your back. And you got one person telling you to cross your feet. You got one person telling you to lay on your stomach, which that person's going to get confused. And all you're going to do is make it seem like, in some instances, you're going to make it seem like they're not complying with you because... Honestly, they're probably just confused. They have no clue which command to follow. And it, you need to avoid confusion. Have one person be the cover, one person be primary, one person calling out the commands and just stick with that. It mitigates a lot of confusion, especially for your suspect. I probably would have done the same thing. Give the guy a chance to stop. I mean, you, you call it out, tell him to stop. He don't, he's bought and paid for. Because at that point right there, he, he could have honestly probably been justified because... He's already stabbed one officer in the eye. So, again, he's pretty well bought and paid for at that point. But um, given a command like that, the dude stop. It is what it is. Um, if he doesn't stop, I mean, he's obviously bought and paid for. I like that interaction right there, though. So far, so good. You know, being vocal like that and the commands to each other, um, the communication to each other was actually pretty good. So, stuff like that does happen. It's definitely not a situation that you ever want to be in and I thank goodness I have yet to be in any situation like that where I need to call out for help like that and feel like my life is just right there. I've responded to other officers saying they need some help. I have yet to come up on something where, you know, the officer, you know, probably wasn't uh, was in a bad spot by the time I got there. Most of the time it was. You know, they're, they know they're in an altercation. They're going to be in one, and they need somebody to step it up and get there. I've had to call for it before. I've rolled in on a house before where I've had five people to deal with at one time, and people are fighting each other, and you, you don't know where to start first, so you try to, you know, just kind of sift your way through it and give out your commands, um, and I've had to get on a radio, and the only thing I could really get out because I was too busy trying to handle the situation was just, hey, step it up. Um Regardless, no officer wants to hear that on the radio. You know, you don't want to hear your your partner tell you that you need to step it up. It, it gives you that's a little bit of a that's that's some pucker factor on that one. Like I said before, like and subscribe. Throw a comment down in the comment section if you have any ideas or some videos you want me to take a look at, and uh, we'll keep this series going. But until then, I will see you on the next one.